keeping our traditions of doing the mitzvahs, mishmeris, some mitzvahs, this is what you call siyag letayr. What is kapach right here? Gedorim v'siyagim. Shenim soyedei chazakim mishamer ha-mitzvahs. That's his written Xavier Teiman. Okay, we understand me Messias mean the Messias of Chazal of Gedorim. The Marshal, the fact that you wait hours between Bas of Chalav or Psar Oif and Chalav, these are all Gedorim and Siagim for Mitzvahs, Muktzah. All these different things which are Pi Chazal, they are Mishmeris and Mitzvahs. Nedorim, Siag the Precious. You want to be able to be the Precious of the Ramba. Im Ad Nadar Vikima, if you will. Fulfill you in the dorm. Nicknus a trunus a man ut. You learn how to refrain. Imashi yurtsali manami mena. You get used to refraining from doing things that you otherwise would want to do. But this kind be other, and you attain this man, Madre, give it here, Kala, all the precious. If you get used to doing the dorm, it's easy to diet a kitzer. That's what he. Right? The zokte, siog la chachma ishtika. And it doesn't have to bother to explain that it's a never portion. You want to keep Chachma, you think. You have to not talk, you have to think. You want to retain your Chachma, to be Meshama, your Chachma, learn how to be quiet and listen and to think. People who are constantly ex- uh, expressing themselves find that finally, you know, they couldn't move. Pelai and the world becomes a world of speech and not a world of thought. Yeah, this is a Dover Pashit. Dr. Vaita, who are you? I'm a Chav of Adam Shinivir Betzalem. Chibi Yisera, Nedas Lo Shinivir Betzalem. First, he's Chav of Adam, he was never Betzalem and Lokim, which means to say the Kayach according to Rambam means the Kayach of intelligent das, the capable of making intelligent decisions. And then he says, so it's even more that you're Chavir. He even told you that you have, he made you aware of this Mila. This means to say that he loves you even more. Rama writes, The fact that he told you how important this Mila is, this alone is a, is a Matana. You learn to appreciate what you have. You have so much literature on the, on the importance of thinking and on the importance of free will. This is all together of Pchira, of, of the idea of Tzelem uh, boy. They don't care about you. They'll give you something, but they don't care about you. They won't tell you what it is. So the Kral of the Gemar Taka says, a nice matana that you should be able to appreciate what you're receiving. The Gemara tells the story that if you give a candy to a child, you should smear it on his lips that his mother should know that you gave him the candy. That's beginning. Which we know is a machlekes tanoim. Which whether it's only oisim meisim kibanim or no oisim meisim kibanim, if the shemer turn and mitzvahs. And if not, they're not called Bonim, that I think that's Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Meir Oz, Ben Shalosu, Ben Shaloyosu, they're called Bonim. I once mentioned that Shuvah Sarajba writes that we pass in halacha like this all day. That's very interesting. That's how he writes. He pass, we pass in halacha here that the, the Ben Osu, Ben Loyosu. We're exactly at the Chloe halacha here. I don't know exactly where, how this works, but uh, that's what he writes. Chiba Nesirin Nadas Shinikru Bonim. He told it to you. She never That we gave the Yisrael got the klisha by nivra oilam, which means the chokhma yilod atzilus, which is found in Taira. The ultimate chokhma, as expressed in Taira, that same chokhma is the chokhma bris oilam. As we know, different types of chokhma can express in different types of ways. The certain, the certain ideas can be in color and sculpture. In literature, in music, in in different types of art, you can have the same idea expressed in multiple things. The chachma is to see the idea. Once you understand the chachma of uh, the chachma of God is expressed a in bria, b in Taira, c in nishmas yisrael. So this, when you say that these three things, Israel, the rights of kuchibrichu chadim, yeah, does make this because they're echad miyuchid bechachmasa yisbar. So he says, chaviv mi yisrael. 
שניתלם כלי חמדש בי נברא העולם. חי ביוסר נדס להם שניתלם כלי שבי נברא העולם, שנמק ילקח טוב נסעתי לכם תירוס אל תעזבו. I gave you something very special. Okay, this is the Mishnah. Kids, it's very important to know. You're learning about Vasa and the Klish and Nivra Boya Oila. Oh, boy. Yeah, very true. Okay, so let's go further. Um, so, but we basically, if we can sum this up, we said that the Pshat, well, let me make it a little better, if I may. Um, we were learning the Rashbam and Kufchof, uh, uh, Kufchof Dal, the Medal. And it seems to be very clear from the Rashbam, the equal really talking about the Shvach of the Chayv. And not about the Shtar proper, as opposed to Taisus, which understands that Rashbam is talking about the Shtar itself, Kimavur in the in the Taisus of Kuf Chav Dal, the Mbeid Vermasla Ein Abchayr. Tzais also understands that way. Tzais understands it means that it's a shvach of that piece of paper called the star. And he asked, he, he, he says, that that's the case, why does he have to elaborate afterwards to say the mil v'alpeh? There's no tainus parati without, there's no star. He said this from Ravka the mils, it's a lav davka, which is obviously not kavonis arash, but you have to find a way of explaining it. So, well, let me say that, I'll say it now in this way, and make it easier. We did talk talking about the shvach of the chayv, and we explained what that means. I'll explain a little more coming up soon. That's a never partial. But your question on the table is, um, uh, shvach of a ch- the chayv, but the, it, that's only true if the chayv is a chayv mukhla. It means to say, a chayv with the star has two things happen to it. When you hold the star, when the malva is holding the star, what he hear, he is defining the chayv. A milva with the star means I have a chayv with no tainus parati. Should that star not be in your hands, he has a tainus parati. So the situation of the star in my hands is the situation which defines the chayv, the relationship between me and this other fellow as a tainus parati, something which does not have a tainus parati. We discussed this at length. It's not just that the Rai of Shtar is against so it. We discussed this in Dasa Rambam. I read quite a few Rambams on this. That it, Pshat, that it, I also mentioned it's uh, Mariel Diskin's brother, his Mechavan, the Biskavav was Mechavan to a Shut Bnei Bin Yamin of, the, uh, of Mariel Diskin's brother, which already says this uh, much before the Biskavav was born. Uh, this year's side that the Pshat is that a Milvish of Bishtar is Kilo Altafreni Alabaidim. I didn't give you a schus moment of times parati in your muzakas here. That's a matzib. So first of all, a milvish of star. See, the lashon of Rishbam wasn't that the star was mishtabeach. You look at the lashon of Rishbam. He says keilu mishtabeach. Now, what does keilu mean? It's as if. Now, it doesn't have to mean that the piece of paper reward. It means the situation at hand. With having a star and the chayv, thus the star defines the chayv, that situation is the real you have now. You control that now. Thus, you're a total music of that type of a chayv. That chayv is mishtabech. That's number one. Uh, if you could add, you want to add another nekuda, I don't mind adding another nekuda. And that is that by every other, uh, by every other milva, even a milva be'edim, you cannot collect it unless you find the edim and bring them with you. He can tie the lawyer to warm and then we know the clouds ought to be keep it tell the lady. If I remember getting the base on the base, you can't always promise you're going to have the item with you. So it's not be you're not the total controller of this. It really depends will there be item and will they be willing to testify? So one cannot say that's called totally much to be yotcha. Much be yotcha means to say you're in total control. You're not in total control, you're depending on multiple other factors. Just like Milva Alpeh, he's not in total control. You're depending on the on the goodwill of the labor that will be minded that he owes you the money. Well, you, you're depending on the goodwill of the Adam that there'll be Ehrlich people. Actually, find, you'll find them. They'll come to you and they will say, hey, this Emes. Okay. And when you have a star, you have your Raya in your hands and you control it. So you have the total assurance of a Chayv, which there's no way... He can walk out. He can't tie the parati, and he can't say loyer You have it. So this is called keilu ashtar mishtabeach. That's the chayr mukach in the rashbam. Because otherwise, it's a sour. Is there a good aura? Why did he have to take that? If he really needed the star proper, 
So then why, why, why do you have to say, because there's a tiny sprat in the chayv? And the answer is very beautiful. The taste, the taste makes sense. He's talking about the chayv. Is the chayv something which is, which is, which, which is vade going to give mammon or not? The text of the chayv will give mammon if it's mukhlat, if there's no way of getting out of it. But if there's any way of getting out of it, the chayv is not mukhlat. No, hypothetically, he could have said, so here it's very simple. There's even a tiny sparati. We don't have to come to say there's also loyo dvar ma'ilam. In fact, of the matter, there's also a tiny loyo dvar ma'ilam. It's a ma'avachavere, loy be'edim. Go prove it. Go prove it. We're not only talking about milva be'edim, but about milva shalay be'ed. <laughs> what are you going to do? So, once again, the Gemara's talk, it's understand. So, he means stam milva al peh. That means to say, even if there is a, if he's might on the alva, he doesn't have a parati, he has a parati. But hypothetically, he also would be kai for the alva. By shtar, lemaisha, you have the chayv is mukhlat. The chayv is something you totally control. Once you have, it's a matzah of a chayv sheyesh b'shtar, A, there is no times parati, B, there's no way of saying loy dvar ma'ilo. That means you have a situation, a relationship that you have with this person is totally under your control, and the fact that it will give money is totally under your control. Obviously, plus Besden. Okay, I'm not talking about the fact that maybe he didn't have fears of Besden and Gvia, but that's, that, that, that's, 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 that, that doesn't mean a thing. That, that's partial. Okay, that means the money, that's how Lechera this Rishbam should be understood. Now, Lemaisa, uh, Lemaisa I'm saying this because otherwise, I have to, could be considered like Sfina Belev Yam. A Sfina Belev Yam is totally yours, but Alpha Pekin, the Rama Pasans, if you don't, not, since you do, you're not, don't have the control of getting it, it's also called Shroy, you're not Mubzik. It's, like, it's mine. It's not under the Rishus of anybody else, but you're not sure you're going to, you don't have the control of it. The weather has the control. That's the idea of Sfina Belev Yam. It depends on multiple other factors that are under your control. That's why you need the Shtayr to make it, it shouldn't be Sfina Belev Yam. That's why this moment this is your control. This is Lukhari, what you say. And that moment this is Shvach. It's not money that I have. It's the Shvach. It's the money which will come due to this situation. So this is the parallel to a certain extent of poor Mukheris and Muskeris. That's Lukhari, the Pshat, and this Rish Can you already explain I would like to to what it means? Can, can I explain what it means that a chov is nishtabach? Um, you know, I, I think I explained it blank last time. I meant to say that the relationship will give money. Equals para muhkeres and muskeres. Is the para giving shvach or is the business deal giving shvach? The relationship between you and the hiker will give shvach. As long as you set up a relation where there's a money-making machine, the money is perceived shvach of that money-making machine. Well, just like the poor in a situation of Chakira is called a money-making machine, which includes what? Includes an agreement of Chakira that you will also go and do work and the poor will be used. There's going to be a driver, a tractor, and working. Those three factors, the, the, the apparatus was created. Whatever happens later is, is, is just shvach. We hear also there's an apparatus. An apparatus of a relationship between me and you, which assures me of reward. I find it even in a certain sense better than uh, than, 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 than Chakira. Because Chakira also, we need the way, we need you to actually get gain in crops. I don't know what crops depend on the weather. I don't know. It was always bothered why Mukheris for Sakhar isn't, isn't like Svina Belev Yam. Unless we take for granted a natural situation, somehow we can we can ascertain how what will happen in the normal weather. I guess so. I, I read if the, I don't have clear agdors, but that's the agdor. It's a matzav. It's a you are in a matzav of a money making machine. This the money that will come is due to an apparatus set up already. So there's no difference between the agreement between you and somebody as far as your para is concerned. It's not the pora, it's the pora in context of the apparatus. Okay, it's our relationship in context with this apparatus. So there Maybe is a chiddush think... here. The chiddush is totally, there is a chiddush here, and that is what you control is a situation which will bring money, it's not an object which will make, which will bring money. There is a difference. I totally agree. There is a difference. For Mukhkers, you have an object which is part of an apparatus which will make money. But let's face it, it's not the poorest. Poor is part of an apparatus. 
So the fact that you own the Pura doesn't mean you're making money. The Pura has to have an agreement of Hakira with the Chaker. So you have to understand. So this is somewhat of an extension to a certain extent. We have an apparatus. I gave you money. This created an apparatus of a relationship which gives returns. So Rebbe believed this is also Shmach. That's what the Chayv is. The Chayv is the relationship the, 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 between the Malva and the Laiva, which, 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 which obliges the Laiva to bring money. So in a certain extent, it's better than Chakira, because at least it has to come. As opposed to by Chakira, God knows if it will come. On the other hand, by Chakira, at least you have an tangible object, which is yours here. And by Chayv, you don't at the moment have a tangible object with yours. So they plus minus to each side here. But if you look at the big picture, they both represent the same idea, an apparatus which will bring money. It's called a money-making machine. It's called, man, if you live in investments, that's how it works. <laughs> okay? Eddie, why does the Rashbam say... That. Why does the Rashbam say... 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 Even if we were told... You, even if we were told you would need Aidim, maybe they might not come and and uh, say Lahadam and you wouldn't be entitled to control. So why do we need to pass in in search of Let me do this again. Once again, because if the idea, if Tzorch the Pari be'aid him, that he couldn't, that he inherently does not have a tainus parati. It's only with aid him. He doesn't have a tainus parati. Now you're asking about La Adam. Well, there was Malva be'aid him. I'm pointing out, there's Malva be'aid him. So hypothetically, I'm, I agree with you. Star is better than aid him. I will agree that if there are aid him, it's also called the Mosul. But Star is better than that. Because you, you have the aid him in your hands. You're only uh-huh. saying it's not, it, 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 it's not, it, you need that aspect. It's better. It's definitely better than the Malva Bebet. Star is the ultimate. You control everything. Here, I agree with you. Ritesh is saying that hypothetically, if there would be a Tainus Parati, if there would not be a Tainus Parati, if there would be a Tainus there wouldn't be a Tainus Parati, so Malva Bebet could be the same thing if it was made. Correct. No problem. Right. Okay, now let's go to the Gemara, if you don't mind. Gemara, and I'm going to see how this works, and how this plays out by in the Gemara. Because the obvious question on the table is, why aren't they chaylik the star? Well, they could be. I, they were talking Yosha star chayv, and they weren't chaylik. What would be the din if they were chaylik the star? What would be the din of the chaylik the starus already, and now you're the private you're, you're the private owner of this thing. Well, that would the lochar could be different. That's what seems to coming out of this. We're not talking about that the shvach star. The star is just a situation. Well, what would we the din? There was a chalukah of the star. A B. There's no chalukah of the chayv. This we understand. This we explain. The relationship is not divided. That's a davar pasha. Okay. We also discussed the idea of Shibut Nachasim and Shibut Aguf. Well, that's going to depend what Shibut Aguf is. We're going to get there today. Is there Chalukah and such a thing? So let's go look at this carefully. The Gemara says, um, uh, Tais, we'll look at the Gemara for a moment. The Gemara says, you know what? Let me tell you, Rabbeinu Yaina. We'll start with that. Rabbeinu Yaina, in Davkuf Chav Dalad Amid Aleph. If you recall in the Gebur of Adam Mati Liyadei, there's a Machlekes every Shainim, correct? Adam Mati Liyadei, Ma Matana Adam Mati Liyadei, Av Chelik B'chera Adam Mati Liyadei. So there's two Pirushim. And the first Pirush is, as Rebbein Rajbam says, Adam Mati Liyadei, the nice saying, the ain't Adam Mach, the Dover Shalei Bala Aylam, Av Chelik B'chera, ain't the Elba Meshe Bala Yada Av. Below, Bishvach, she shoved in the Chasim Achim Misasa. The Afa Pish or Miochel Hakne Soda Lishvach, a Ossid Lover Lisham, Kigain Deco La Paris. You can sell a Deco with the Deco with the Kayachat Smicha of the future Paris. So you can sell Soda. Now you can't, you don't, you don't sell the Paris, but you can sell Deco Le Paris. So you can sell Soda Lishvach, become a Kama Shvach Atzme Le Bala Ila. Below Zikri Begufa Soda. But you're not doing that. You're not giving you you want you want the shvach per se, and the shvach per se cannot be sold. 
This is Shittas Arashba. Then he says, Yesh Mephorshim, Ma Matana Ad Asa Yodin Mekabo Matana, Av Chelik Bechera Ademota Yodei Lepikach, Eino Notel Bishvach Shishopche Nechasim, Kaidim Chaluka, Velo Amrin and Ari Dede Ashbach, Moisha Noemim Bishchelik Shittas. This is the Pirsha of the Yesh Mephorshim which we dealt with. So Rabbi Niyoyna asked the question, Kotcha Lila Ay Pirusha, the ha amrina likaman in the yamid we can see hashda shvacha the aser b'shusai amr abanu leshakil milva mibai. What's this going on? This is going on the brisa in Amid Beis where the Gemara says brings a brisa, and the brisa says rebuda amr rebuda amr shmuel. Not a brisa, it's a memra. Amr rebuda amr shmuel. Ein bechor notel pi shnei b'milva. So the Gemara in Ahmed Beis, Lema, this is literally, literally halfway of the page. Lema, who's this, who's, when Abudah Mishon made the statement, who's he, according to who is he expressing this idea? E Lema, should we, should you, should we say, the Rabbana, we're saying that Ein Abchor, Noit Lepish Naim Bermuva, we will say this goes and explain the Das of Rabbana. Hashta, now, Shvacha de Asib, we should say, Shvacha, of something which is now in your rishus. For example, uh, look, look at Rash, let's look at uh, Rashbam for a moment. If you don't mind, where are you? Yeah. Ain't a a liba de man, clemmer kiman sphere lay as you would say. Shvach says, What are we talking about? Shvach de mamela, kigan chafura vavishuvli. We say it doesn't work. Your muzik tzas, chfur v'natsa shuvli. Your muzik in a certain dimension of the object. Afu piken since the rest is shvach and country abundant doesn't work. Milva, the ene muzik klal ba mois ella b'shtar the heaven yara ba alma mi boy. That the lashon of the kasha. You're not music in the state in the most, you're only music in a piece of paper. How can you possibly say it's Nyurba Alma? He adds that line. Nyurba Alma, that's all you're properly really music in. And since that's the case, how can this possibly be? This Lakhira sounds, in other words, this is not even schwach of anything of an object that you're really music in. Granted, this is not much the thing that we mentioned before. This, in other words, the idea of being music in a in a chaib in some kind of relationship, because that's a monetary reality, that's even totally far-fetched. You don't have anything tangible to be muzik in. They definitely disagree with that chiddush of Rabbi. Hypothetically, we could even take and say this is a chiddush within Rabbi, okay? But that's already taking it very far. This is what the uh, Gemara says. So the Rabbi Yoyne asked the question, I want you to hear the words. It's, if you have it in front of you, that would be great. If you can get it, I'll wait for two minutes. And if you can't, uh, I really think you should see this. What does one got to do with the other? What was the fact that basically that in Shvach you don't get have anything to do with getting Pishnaim in the mill? What's the parchment that good Shabbos? Hello, it's, in other words, even if you don't get Shvach, you should get Pishtaim in a milva according to Rabban. Even if they think that you don't get Shvach, it's the opposite of what you would hope. <laughs> Even if they don't they disagree with Rebbe and Shvach, they should agree here that you should get Pishtaim in a milva. Why? Hello, Bishas Haluka, Ra'ui Shi'ital Abhor Pishtaim in milva. Kemo Bishar Nechosim Shenia Ha'av. What's his kasha? I don't know if anybody saw this. Probably not. I mentioned this a few times, this Rebbeinu Yoyin. You know, you never get anywhere if you just listen to lectures and don't learn the Roshanim inside. What is he asking here? He's asking, what's, how is going to do with Shvach? What's the problem? Divide the stories. What's his kasha? His kasha is, what does F do with B? 
It says, you don't take P Shnaim in a milva. What are we talking about? Does it say, Yoshu Shtar Does it say a milva before Chlukah, after Chlukah? It says, Stam Milva. It says, Stam Milva. Now you say, Stam Milva, there's no P Shnaim. What are you talking about? There's definitely should be a bit, there should be, I can understand the reality. That, excuse me, it said that you take P Shnaim in a milva. That's what the price is at, the memory is. And it, says, it can't be a contra bono. Why can't it be a contra bono? There's no echetimtza, a contra bono, to be Irish P. Shnaim in a milva. Of course there's an echetimtza. If you divide it, the shtoris. Divide the shtoris, and the male, the star is now mine. And once the star is now mine, bingo, so the money that will come will be the shvach of that which is mine already. I'm muzik in something. If the whole problem was because you're not muzik in anything, okay, here it's yours. What's the sweat? You have the star, and this is shvach of the star, so to speak. This is the question that he asks. I'm going to read it again. Ma equals is the possibility of chalukah of shtoros. Ma raui sheyitol apchor pishnayim b'milva. If we do do chalukah, what do you do chalukah in exactly? Are we talking about shibud aguf here? Zaymer Michael. No, right. What are we talking about? We're talking about the chshtay of what? We're talking about a chayv. Can you be? We can do chalukah in a chayv in a relationship between two people. You can also do chalukah. We're talking about the shtoris. In fact, Akasha, Lechayra, listen, I'm going to take the star and be chalikit. You take one star, I'll take another star. So now this star is mine, and the money that will come in the chayv, which is represented in the star, that this star is like the fingers or the handle of that chayv, it's definitely mukhat to me. He has the things parati, it's in my hands, and I, I, have, I have my portable Aiden box. I can take it wherever I want. So now this is mine. But this is the shvach of my situation. This is the shvach of your situation. But that's already the shvach of a bailim, not the shvach of a, 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 a yorish. I'm not getting the money within yorish. I'm getting the money because I'm the yorish of the shtoris. That's the kasha of the rabbi Yoyna. And because of this question, he uh, has problems with this. Let me just finish for a moment. He has problems with this. And he, what? How do you... Asking. Uh, how do you divide a star? Like, how, like, like, what, like, what? How do you do it? What does that mean? Two stars should give him one, and I give the other. What's the problem? So, the, so Kim they're talking about with this equal star. Two stars of uh, two stars of the same. Of the same, I have one contract on you, one contract on Shai. They're equal monies. Or we say you have a hundred dollars more, so I'll give you another chelik somewhere else. Like how you do anything with Ilu Damin. Yeah, but he had, the daddy left a whole bag full of contracts. What's the star? What if there's only one star? What? What if there is only one star? What, what if there is only one star? That's impossible. Then you can't. I agree. What if? And what if my mother had wheels? I'd have a bus service to Haifa. This question is the opposite. His question no, is, his question is, how can you say there's not? There's a possibility of yes. So you're telling me what, it, what happens when the possibility were no. And the possibility of no, he didn't ask the question. David. You first have to think before you talk. You just learned for Travis, biggest booster safer in the world. Okay, the Meraglim, it says that the, the, it says why were the chet of the Meraglim Shigdimu Pe Laayin. So the Meral says, you know what it is? Your mouth is supposed to express that which you saw and understand. But these Meraglim, they didn't see anything. They, they made up reality with their mouth. They first spoke, they, they shot, and then they drew the, uh, the bullseye around it. You know what I mean? Relax. Not just you, David. I'm using you to tell the, everybody. Don't worry. I like you very much. You know that. I mean, you know, it's a very important thing to do. Right. So, okay, so this is the kasha of Rabbi Neyayna. What's his kasha? That l'chayr, what's the problem? Make chalukah and shtaris. Now, who asked this question? You all know that l'chayr is the kasha of taisvus. Taisus asked this question. Where's the Taisus in Ahmed Beis? Ain't abchor neitel pishnayim b'milva. So Taisus kirabonim mukale b'milva b'shtar. We're talking about this lashon over here of Rebuda of Rebuda of Hashem Shmuel. 
The Gemara originally says no. Finally, the Gemara comes and says yes. We'll see soon. So the Gemara, Masha Pirsha couldn't Israel that which Rishbam. It's a very important thing to know when the Rishbam when Taisus uses Russian kuntris. It does not mean Rashi. It means the notebooks. I say this is a very important time because sometimes you have a Taisus which mentions a kuntris, and people try to find a Rashi. It may be a Rishbam. I have a Taisus like that in Ksubas. That's your Tessa Medalith, where he quotes a Kuntras, and he means a Rajvam and Bahabasra, not a Rashi anywhere in Shas. Okay, that, uh, that, that you have no idea. You'll get there, Mir Tashem, in the Sugya of Moed Bishtar Shukosva, in Tzorach Lekaimai. Taitais is there, brings a Kuntras, and they all, oh, but Fregnish was Mazogdot and Torah. It gives me headaches to think of what's out there. It's very simple. It's an Ofna Rajvam. You know, so Kuntras does not mean Rashi. Very important. You know, sometimes these things uh, save a lot of time. Okay, so Ma Shapir Sha Kuntus Lael Gabi Yoshu Star Khai Bhai Netl Bishnaim Shashta Eva Aguf Umelva Have Hab Shvach. And these are the language is really cool. Star have a guf umilva have a shvach. He doesn't say the word mas, he uses the word milva. But obviously the usage of the word milva is synonymous with the word the money. Let's get this straight. Very important to know the shyness of Rishina. So he uses the word milva, he means mos. Remember that, it's going to mean to get to other sugis and shots. Okay? Milva does not mean the choiv, the shibudim, so make the mos. Okay, when we say mikaj be milva, ain't the mekudeshes. Do we mean the choiv? Do we mean the shibudim? Do we mean the mos? So first get this on the table. Meret begging the mos. That's an important thing to know. And your question is going to be why not the others too? Or maybe also the others. Okay? But this is one thing, Lashon Ataisis, Mos. Now, what does he say? The Guf is the, uh, the Mos is the Shvach, and the Guf is the Shtar. Obviously, we did not learn that one. The way we explain the Rashbam, I'm sorry, this is off. How did he explain the Rashbam, Lachaira? Now, do we say it quite his understanding of the Rashbam? I have to go back and understand the Rashbam differently. You know me, I don't know what he exactly had in front of his eyes. I do, can't say. I do not know. I don't think this is a riot to the Ksaisa that says Lav Daf Kivakulu. No, I think that I don't know what he had in front of his eyes. I don't know. But I can also do somersaults in this language too, but I don't have to. So he says, This is Mamash, the approach of the Ksaisa Chayshin, Reisha, and Chesiv, Kat, and Vav, which I sent you. Okay? The Shvach is the, the Shtar is the Chayfits of the money. This is the money maker itself. He's not talking about the Chayf. The star itself is the money maker. This is we have to understand what this means. We'll see shortly. But taking for granted that's what he understands. The shvach, the the chayfitz is the star itself, which is my the money. He says, "Ain't near." This is not true. The imkain what? If you think that the chayfitz itself is the star, is the star. Imkain amai amrinon rabbanon. I'm Rabban, the Ein Abchor Netl Pishnaim. So then why is the Vyoshu, why did the Chacham say that he doesn't have Pishnaim? What's this? is according to the Maskon, the Ein Abchor Netl Pishnaim B'milva. He's talking about what? Not about the Gemara there. There's no Rabbanon there that says that. He's going back to the memory of Yudam or Shmuel or Amid Beis that says this. Just, I want this very clear. He's the Divra Maskos on this Gemara, not on Amid Aleph. He's saying, but if it is true, that the star is the chayfetz, and this is the shvach of life, not learning the way we learned it, talking about the star proper. And we have to understand, what do you mean? Like, what could this mean? How is the star a chayfetz of anything? The star at the best is a raya. It's a piece of paper which gives you a raya. It's a piece of paper which, be, in a certain situation, gives a quality to the chayf. Where would the star itself be? It's, it's a great fish hook. It's a fish hook, which definitely brings fish but so what? It's not the shvach of the star. It's the shvach shabor al yedeya star. And there's a big difference. It's not the development of the star. It's a. It's like a saying. I would suggest that the robber has a gun. So a mela all banks that he robs at the shvach of the gun. He goes and he shows his gun. And he says, "Hold up, the shvach of the revolver." Is that what he thinks? What's the pshat and taisus when we say that the mos is the shvach of the star? Agresia shekoyach. Like, how does one even understand how he understands Rajma? It's a piece of paper. It's a riot. If he's talking about the extent of what effect it has on the chayv 
that I understand. It's a situation which is a natural money maker. The fact that it proves that you can give money, uh, my gun does the same thing, and my fishing rod, I don't have one. If I would have one, it would be the same thing. That, that, I mean, think for two minutes. Okay, what's main tesis? Okay, let's go further. What does he mean in this tasha? What does Taisha say? Ain't nearer to this in Kenan. My Amri Rabbanan, the Ain't a point not to be shnayim. Even she, the even she yachleku a shtoris v'yita b'shtoris pi shnayim. Because definitely, when and if they divide the stars, and they can divide the stars, and then you are going to get pi shnayim the shat because she ain't a goof. At that point, then yito gam a shvach she yavei achardach. She he hamilva right the hapshita the achas she. How do you read this Taisha? So what's this Kasha? A kochach muchach what? A kochach muchach that no, the kier, the shvach, the kier, the star is not a Karen. It's only the chayv or whatever it is. It's not the shvach. It's not the shvach of the star per se. It's the chayv for itself. That which he says, that's the Chayyim, the Kasha of Taishvus. How can you tell me the Pshat and Rajbam, the Rajbam, which he understands the what? That the Shvach, it's the, the, this alone is the, the, the goof, and everything is the Shvach of that goof. The Chayyim, so be Mechalik, that goof, and what's the problem? How can Chazal tell me, Rebidah Mishmuel tell me that there's no Pishtayim by a Milva? Definitely there's a Pishtayim by a Milva, if they divided the stars. I agree. If they didn't divide the star, then that's true. But he doesn't say that. He says he says ain't pishtayim b'milva. What do you mean? There's no pishtayim. It depends if they divided or they didn't divide it. There's always the possibility of dividing. You can't make a a blatant statement that there's no pishtayim by a milva. Depends if you divide the shteda. And this is what you want to prove. So you want to prove the star of kochach is what? It's not the karen. It's just a piece of paper. It's in Yar Ba'alma, it's a raya. That's what he's trying to prove. It's just a raya Ba'alma. There's no, it's not that what it means. I. Right, so then what does it mean? So now tell me what it means. So what's the Pshat and Rebbe that's called Shvach? What does it mean? What does Taisus take for granted it means? It's not the star, and I understand why, because if the star occurs, the possibility of Chalukah, so what is it? Al koch is the chayv, and the answer is you're right. I don't disagree with you. It is the chayv in a matzav of star. That's exactly what we're saying. Ain't a chenam. The star is not. The, that's a davar pashit. There's a davar pashit. We're not talking about the star is not the etzem. It's the chayfitz. What is it? It's the fishing hook. Fetch of the kasha. Right. So that's what's his pircha. The pircha is if that. It's very nice. But we're going to ask another question. That doesn't help. But this member of Rabbanon still needs help. Why can't, according to Rabbanon, why don't we divide the stories? So what's he proven? He's proven one thing. He's proving, he's proving one thing. The star is not something which is the Karen, and therefore it's Nitton Lechaluka. What is it? So it's a piece of paper. It's a riot. So make a Chaluka in the riot. Make a Chaluka between the different, uh, the riot. What is it? What is he offering as an alternative? If his kasha is the coin trabana, there is a possibility of chalukah by shtaris. So if that's the and therefore there is such a possibility, therefore you can't say that a, a blatant statement that there's no pishnaim by mil, but there is in the case of chaluka by uh, by by, by shtaris. Akoch, what does he prove? That there is no chalukah by shtaris. Why not? But look at the Maram for a moment, just to clarify. The Maram says words here. Look at the Maram. Yeah, Maram. Page pay base in Oiz Bahada. Maram, Kuf Chavdal Damabes, right column, last like um, uh, five lines. Divra Masla Eina Pchoy. What does it mean to say? Elavadai ain't a star, Bishtar Shum Goof. 
It's shvach, it's money that will come, but not from anything that you're holding. So we have one thing we're talking about. This is the, there's no goof here. What is here? There's a chayf. You're not muzik in anything at all. And since you're not muzik in anything at all, just a piece of paper, therefore, mamelas, this is not called shvach of anything. It's called the shvach of a chayf, which is meaningless. The lazar, you see what you asked? This is taisvis. This is taisvis. This is Ramish taisvis. Okay, and Rabban and Rebbe obviously disagrees. So now you have to ask the question, I was the shot. So what's the kasha now? What are we going to say to the country? And therefore it's nothing. And what does Rebbe hold? Rebbe holds shtar is not near Balma. Now, according to Tyson, you know, Tyson hasn't told us how he learned shot. He just, he, he, this is a very typical, he's the type of guy that comes and says, this is wrong. What's right? I don't know. Okay, what's right? So to understand this, um, the truth of the matter is, is that uh, first I'm going to answer this question, and then we're going to, uh, I'm going to try to answer the Taisa's Kasha Vinishvi, and then we'll see. I don't think there's what the answer. I think the Amish is, I think Taisa built that a misunderstanding, but there's a Kasha here. The Kasha is, let them divide the stars. So what, that's a fair question. Tyson so takes for granted that if it's a goof, you can divide the stores. Why can't you divide the stores? What do you mean it's, a, it's not a goof? It's not a goof, it's a piece of paper. It's a piece of paper which gives you rights and values. So why is there chalukah in stores? Let me boy if mechivah stores is the raisa, mechlek is raja, rabbanon, amaroim. Maybe Tanoim. If Mechira Shtoris is the Raisa or only Midra Abanon. Now, if you hold Mechira Shtoris is the Raisa, why can't there be a Chalukah the Raisa? Is the Yerushan Shtoris? Is Yerushan Shtoris? Okay. Does the Tfusa own the Shtoris? The Tfusa own the Shtoris. Then why can't you do Chalukah and the Shtoris? Even if you hold Mechira is only the Abanon, but Yerusha, they're definitely on Shtoris. And if there's Yerusha, is Chalukah like Mechira? That's your question. Is Chalukah like Mechir? If Chalukah is like Mechir, and I understand Mechir is towards the Indra Abundance, so I can understand that Chalukah won't work. This all can take you back to what we learned in Daf Gimel of it. If you have that truth, you have all the information. Those who were there at the time should be able to do something with this. At the end, many of you weren't. But at the end of the day, that's a question. Taisa takes for granted Lechaira that if it's a group, there's Chalukah. What do we have to make it Taisi? A koch, there's no chalukah in shtoris. What's the reason? So the choice of chayshin brings a base Yosef, but he, I, I hate to say it, I think there's a slight misinterpretation of what it says. I'm going to read it to you. I think it sent it to you. That the choice of chayshin in Reish Ha'in Ches to cut and vav. And that the choice of chayshin says, the Lushan of the Shulchan Aruch is in Reish Ha'in Ches, Siv Zayin, and he quotes a Rajba. I sent you the Rajba. Let's see what, no, let's see. Because of Rajbam, excuse me. In Yashu Shtarachayv, the one that we have, we've been dealing with. The key for the music by star, by Al P, has star, gave him a son Milva. Hare u ki ilu, his beach, a star, a star, his We should always underline the word ki ilu. Whenever you see a ki ilu, get nervous. What does it mean? Ki ilu, a star. It doesn't mean real, it's as if. It's a metaphoric language. Ki ilu, a star, his beach. The hainu, the chasim, she shaf chamamel. The 
יובה עם מיכל טוי שלוי הוא, that's simple. לאנג'ר טייספס. I sent it to you, so you should have it in your phones, this says. ונירה, זה אפשר לא ימר די רשב"ם ספיר לקדס הרשב"א בתשובה חלק ג' סימן קל"ז. First see him, then let's look at the Rajma inside and see what the Rajma really says. What does it say here? There ain't chalukim b'shtoros. There's no chalukah in shtoros. There's no chalukahs, Yerusha in shtoros. We do not divide shtoros. Why not? Mishum there ain't gufa in mamon. They're not gufa in mamon, and therefore you can't claim chalukah. Why not? So it's a mute from a positive that you need gufa in mamon. Mother, you look at this and say, hello, what's this? It's because of this you get very nervous. Does he really say this? You know, if you need me utim across the board, to the my dover she'en and metaver metatul of a gufay mamon. Okay, very nice. Gufay mamon means what in English? Gufay mamon means it has no inherent value of its own. It's nothing more than a way of getting money. There's a big difference. There's a big difference between the capability of getting money through something and inherent value. We once did this a time ago. We, I taught you a Gemara in Bab Metzia by Chavitza de Tamra. What happens, the Gemara talks if that wholesale, let's say there are uh, 69 dates tied together. Now, wholesale, uh, you can buy that for, 15, uh, for, 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 for 59. You get one for free. If you buy retail, you pay a buck a piece, you have to pay for 60. Okay, the question is a person which, uh, which damages or eats, what does he pay? Does he pay wholesale or retail? So the shot is how you shum the Nazikans. I remember the Shmuel and the Inba and Gimel, I think it is. Okay, I taught this when I was teaching in Babakama, the Sugi of Shumas Nazikin. Okay, so Lachari, what's the Maisha? The Maisha, the Paskin La we don't look at the wholesale. We look. We, we don't look at the wholesale. We look at the wholesale, not at the retail. The wholesale is its value. Retail is not the value. It's how, what, how much money you can make with it. Interesting concept. But if you take them one by one, you'll make more. If you sell it in a normal situation, you'll make less. That's the value of the situation at the moment. You can make money with this if you simply do something else with it. There's always a big difference between the capability of making money and value. Okay, so when you look at not that I can make money, but this is the value of something, those are two separate things totally. Kufay mama means something which is inherently perceived. This is, this is a monetary entity. This is its value in the market. How do you find value by the market? I hope you understand that. Okay, ultimately says, well, the market, we have to differentiate the, our, the wholesale value of things which are sold in that form, the, uh, the chavitza, the tamer, that's its value. You can make other money in that situation where something is in a, in a wholesale format. You can cut the package and make money, but that's not its value. It's out there, dogma. If you really want to know, it's like uh, um, there's a ritva in Kedushin Daf Kimlam and Beis which discusses: um, Does the father get? Uh, is he the, if he's the bialim on the bia? of his daughter, because he can get money for people to, uh, you know, give it to a maneuver of Mukeshchen. They'll pay for it. Sounds like he's a pimp. I don't know what to say. So basically, the Ritva says, that doesn't mean her money. It's money he can make through her. Same idea. If there's an entity having money through something, or having, is, is she a money-making machine? A poor who cares and who cares is a money-making machine. Is the star? What's this? That's the question on the table. So basically, he says, "Ain't good for mama." They have no inherent value, and since there's no inherent value, therefore lechayra, uh, there's no chaluka in them. You can't be tovea chaluka. It's a fish hook. Now that's a pella. This, if this would be the raj, would you immediately ask the question? Who cares? We can choose to do that too. I grant that maybe there's some kind of an idea that dinei chaluka should be defined dafka by money, by, by money value. But I, we can agree to do what we want. We're the Balat Fisa. There's no possibility of chalukah. We can do what we want. It makes no sense. Second of all, for goodness sakes, 
maybe uh, the Xais didn't live in a small town and didn't know of a, the market of bonds and notes. We people of the Western world know there's a whole commodities market, a, a bond market. Man, are you kidding? Can you ask any government? They float a bond, okay? Stock market, for goodness sakes. There's no market for, for, for promissory notes. What universe was he living in? And that has value. It sold and bought. Uh, why do you call this Adjab? Your Tzorachin has to be, why is that called Engu for a moment? And that's a question, when you remind stores, because Engu for a moment. There's a market for it. Granted, the market won't be for the price of the Chayv, but it'll be, it'll be 30% less. But don't call it Engu for a moment for Chalukah. If I had to define the star in Etzem, is a star something as far as Shvu is concerned? And the Shvu is about the value of the star for the total sum of the Chayv. I say, I can't. The whole Chayv is not Gufay Mama. Ain't a Chanam, it has a market value as a bond for 70%, but the other 30%, I'm sorry, that's just a way of making money. That's all true for Shvu or things like that. But we're talking about Chalukah. I couldn't care less about what's coming. I want to divide this entity. Once I control it, the money will be mine. So why is that relevant? Is a Gufay Mama not Gufay Mama? It makes no sense. The truth of the matter, this is how he wants to explain the Taisha. Taisha has the Kasha, there should be Mechag Shtoris. No, you can't be Mechag Shtoris because then Gufay Mama. Well, in such a situation, you have no Breira, but to go and see what the Rajma really said. So I sent it to you. Okay, I heard some boys learning it. Okay, what did the Rajma really say? This is, you know, Klal in life. The Rajma writes as follows. Do you have it? Yeah, I think I sent it to you, so you should all have the text in front of you. There were notes which were witnesses. Not all the partners are here. Equals, if all the partners were here, they would make their own decisions. Okay, you take this style, I'll take another style, I'll give you more, you'll give me less, and we'll handle. They're not there. Can, can best now assess the value of the Shtaros and therefore make a chaluk according, uh, according to the official assessment of the court. Whether you can divide, divide it in a way of making an official assessment. Read the Shiloh. I have a small feeling that whatever the case had, he had like a different piece or maybe he didn't see it. I don't know. I, want to get, I do not know what these people had in front of them. That's the way I work. Okay? I know what I have in front of me. And actually, the version of the Chubas, I'm quoting the Beis Yosha, the Chubas Raj was talking very lousy print. It's, it's old Italian print, okay? I didn't send it to you because you couldn't figure it out. But it's the same thing, okay? So I don't know what the Chubas had. This is the question. The question is not whether we can or can't divide short. The question is, can we make a viable assess, monetary assessment? Have you read it? Is it clear? Is it there? Does anybody contest this statement? You better not. Vaita. Okay, he continues and says, um, again, Shalta Chayv Shutu Shuta Shitrei Chayv Mishutaf Mishlei Shabbos Shutim Ain Mikdash Ashutim Kan In the Chayvan In Tzom Lachlik Bishuma Shitrei Chayv Al Pi Bezin Bikim Bishuma. Can the court, the official assessors, make an assessment of value, and then we'll know? So you won't get the star; you'll get something else. Okay, or we'll give you something else. You don't have to be there. Can we really make an exact assessment? And the answer is tshuva. Answer, nira. It would seem to be she ain't bezin cholkim chayv keneged chayv. Bezin does not divide chayv keneged chayv, which means you take this loan, I'll take the other loan. Lefi shastoris ain't gufan maman shenishon aysam. For shastoris are not gufan maman that we could be able to assess them. They're not gufan maman that we can assess them. Why? And here he explains. Yes, Oshir Veino Pereya. You can have a star, a note on a promissory note on the Duke of Edinburgh. And he's an Usher, but <laughs> go find him. You know, he's not going to pay. 
So it's a lot, it's a beautiful note, but who says you're going to get it? You know, the money, you don't know where this note is going to bring you the money. That's what's called chayv over here. He's very, very powerful, and therefore he said, we'll refuse to pay. There's people which are really utterly poor. You know, he doesn't have what, but he will pay. So how do you know? How can Bezin make a fair assessment? There's no natural way of making an assessment. That's what he's talking about. They're not gufan maman. What are they? At the most, you can assess it as far as how it will bring the monies. You don't know how it will bring the money. Why is he talking this way? Because he's not talking about the market value of the star as a bond. No, that you can't do in shutas. You know, we have a chayvus on us. We, the chayv, I have chayv A, you have chayv B. And therefore, what we really have, we can't just mark it out the value of the star. if this value of the star was the value of the chayv nicha. But he says you don't know that. That's a chayv pella. There's a 70% you can definitely be chaylik. That is 70%, which is there. It's a 30% you have less because it depends because the, the market also doesn't know. Your svekas are the svekas in those 30%, but there's definitely the 70%. But what does he say? But Bezin is trying now at the moment to make an equal division of this. Okay, an equal division. We have to take and include, include also that. Let's go further and see what he says. So Engufay Mom is a nice way of saying, therefore I have no inherent value of its own, only the value of the money coming, and the money coming, God, we can't assess. That's what he's saying. It's a concern in the Shuma, not at all what the Ksai says. Vaita, v'oid, dishtorais milaninu, v'ein Shuma b'mila. What does that mean? That the reality is this is nothing more than words. Equals, it's a piece of paper. It has no inherent value. It will bring money, but it has no value of its own. And since it has no value of its own, therefore we don't do chalukah in the object. That's what he's saying. So there's two things here. First of all, we have taken because we don't know how to uh, we don't know how to assess an object. With ain't shuma b'mila, we don't assess values of words. There's no value in the words for themselves. The value is only as far as the money that will come to those words. We don't know how to do that. We don't know how the money will happen. That's what he says. He goes weiter. Then he says, is nearly More than that, I actually think that not only don't we do chalukah by Yoshim, she'en bezdin shaman l'bal chayv mishitur chayv shalayva. It's also when we're yorid l'nechasav to have a layva, Bezin helps Malva collect from Oliva. We can't really collect from his shtaris. We can't collect from his shtaris. She ain't Bezin Shamal Balchayv Mishit to Chayv Shalayva Minatamaze. Why? The shtaris milaninu. They have no inherent value. They're just a means of getting other monies. Umila Eden Nishamim and Millas are not being assessed. There's no. There's no collection of Bezdin. Because it does, what do you mean, ain't this shaman? Now ask the question what about the market? What about the bond value? Mechiru Shtoris. Definitely works to a bond and it gives a value. That is not on the page here, if you notice. We're not talking for whatever reason carefully, you have to think. The Rajbah is not dealing with the, dividing the Shtoris according to their market value in the bond market. He wants to he wants to divide the stars because of the money that it produces. That's what he's saying. And what's he saying? First of all, even if, first of all, the first part says it's not mealy. Let's say that the money the money that you produce is the value of the star, but you can't know how much you can produce. The first terrorist is granted that the money is the value of the star, but reality is that that money cannot be assessed. The second tarot says, no, that is not the value of the star. This is just a words which will bring that money. Then he says further, once it's only words which will bring that money, there's not even Gviya of, of Bezdin. Because Bezdin is shum only objects which are inherently worth money, not things which will bring money. This is the Rajba. Okay, I want to repeat it carefully because in the thinking process, there's a big Chiddush here. First of all, it's got nothing to do with what the choice says. That, that, that's what's on the table, okay? 
it's nothing to do because Davish Ein Gufay Mum is a reason there's no Chaluka. No, Ein Gufay is a reason why there's no Shuma. Okay? You can't assess it because we don't know how to assess. That's what it means. Ein Gufay Mum means, I, what do you do with the bond value? That does, that obviously, he takes for granted that the bond value obviously is not a market of Erech. He believes that the bond value is just a market of how to make money with. It's like buying fuel. Questions we're thinking about. You, 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 I, I have to do carefully because Kashazum is dealing with what you plan me to lose. Okay, is this called the loss? It could be called the loss, although it's not called the error. This have let me now the question it's our aura worth looking into. But I'm saying what it says here. I know how to do the Rajma. The Raj was not dealing in any fashion, form, or size in Chalukah of Storvis as a bot in the bond market. That's not what he's talking about. If not, he should be talking about that. Doesn't mention that. He said, it's Miller, but there's a market for Miller. There's a market for Miller, but there's no Gvi on Miller. I look, why is it just Miller? There's a market for this as inherent value. Where's all that? That's not part of the conversation in the Rajbo. Rishba takes for granted the only money that we're talking about is the value of the money that it will bring by Gvia Sachoy. Now, in the Gvia Sachoy, he has two stages. The first stage is granted that the contract, the, the, the Dummim of the star, is the money that it will bring. Now, that is the Etz, it's not Mili, that is the Shavius of the star, but we can't assess how much money it will bring. That's the first terrace of the Rajba. The second terrace is no, it's not the money of the, of the Gvia, is not the money of the star. The star is nothing more than a fish hook which will bring me money. And that's the, look at the language. I need you to read this because it's a very important piece. Again, Tshuva, Nira. She'ein bez l'chayv ki chayv kene get chayv l'fi she'ashtoros ein guf ha'mamon she'noshim o'isam. V'yesh o'shir she'ein o'y p'yre ha'mamon te'ch al-musay v'yesh misray she'ish o'pere p'tech d'okay. That's number one. So what's he saying? L'chayra, the chayv is the shavi, is the value of the star. The chayv equals the mayag d'mayag v'ya is the value of the star. But we don't know if you'll see it. So I don't know what its value really is. The oid and the another terence is the star is middle in shuma b'mila. Once we came to that chiddush stars are not the d'mayag v'ya is not the shavi of the star. It's only mila. It's a hechetim of making money through the star. Once we say that, he says, "Bechlal, there's no gvi even about chayv for this." These are, this is the read the Rashba. I want, I need you to study this. Well, it seems very clear in the Rashba that we have two approaches to dmea gvia, the chayv to the star. The first test of the Rashba takes for granted that yes, the value of the star is is the money, is the, the money that it will bring. Just practically, we can't assess it. But when you collect it, you actually collected the value of the star. In other words, the star, it has a value to it, just you don't know what it is, so there can't be a market for that. And that's probably, now we understand that is probably the idea. That's why people are willing to gamble <coughs> and pay for the Dmea Gvia minus 30%. It's only because the Dmea Gvia is the Shabbos of the star. But that's a market of gamblers. Besden is not dealing with the gambling market, therefore they're going to assess a real value. The real value is the money that you'll get. It's not going to get it. You don't know. And since there's a factor which is unknown, therefore we cannot assess its value. That's what it says. In other the star is the chayfetz. And the star is nitl chaluka because the essence is a chayfetz which has a value. Okay? The problem is, the problem, that's the chayfetz it is. The problem is, you know what? That value is what? The value of the money it will get. That's also called Dmei Ashtar. 
Problem is, we don't know what it is. I look here, it's en gufa imamun. En gufa imamun is not a chisorn in Chaluka. The engufam is not a chesaron and chaluka. Engufam means I can't assess the usage of the term in this context. Means I don't know how it's worth. Yes, asher she'ain a mishal metech al musay v'yes misraish she mishal metech dochka. Tosh teit in Rashi. So the first side of the Rashi is I want you to say it's very important to this piece of Rashi because this will explain to you the possibility coming further in the Gemara using ishtar as a mashkoin. Now that's got to make sense. And the only way it can make sense if you take it this side in the Rajba, that ain't the Khanami, the Shavis of the Shtar is the Dmei Agvia. I can't practically make a Chaluka in the Dmei of its value because I'm sorry. I don't know what it is. It's a technical reality. Okay. The second test of the Rajba is that what? No, no, no. It's not Dmei It's not Dmei Ashtar. No, no. This is not called a market. No. It's nothing more than an object which will bring you money. I told you, it's like Chavitza de Tamra. It's like Dmei Bia. It'll, yeah, you can use money to make money, but that's not the, it's not the Shabbos of the Chavit itself. <clears throat> Whatever it is, this is the understanding of why stores cannot be uh, divided. No one has to now understand <coughs> what is Shittas or Taishas. Taishas thinks it can be divided. <coughs> Shows the things that can be divided. Well, once we understand, clearly, if he understood it was Mila, the Alma, then there's nothing to talk about. How could there be a division? Clearly, the Taish is understood in the Rashbam that know that the Mamas is Dmei Hashtar. So there's Chaluka. I look her, you can't be Sham the object. So let them suggest between themselves to make an Ilui Damim. If you need a Bezdin. So the din, Benson can't make an objective assessment. That doesn't mean that Yarshim can't do it between themselves how they want. What the Rajbo say? The Rajbo simply says that Benson, being an objective assessor, can't make an objective assessment. The only question here is because this other fourth shutav is not around if you saw the Shiloh. But if you really did, is you gave him back his mashka and he gave it. You know where that mashkin is when you collect with it? That's the shots of uh, the beer of the shavish of the mashkin. This is 